Webheads, it's Monday and it's a scorcher outside, but you know what's even more hot is these top 10 comic book covers that I'm about to share with you. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans. I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you 2020's Top 10 Comic Book Covers. Fans, this is week 29, and this is the only YouTube interactive video series where you, the fans, get to vote on which is your favorite comic book cover of the week. And by the time we get to the end of the year, fans, yes, you will have that final say on which comic book cover gets that final all-important title of comic book cover of the year. So, guys, if you'd like to become a member of Comic Book Corner 2.0, just hit that join button right there on my home screen as it helps support the channel. All right, guys, before we jump into this countdown officially, we got to find out who won week 28. And let me just tell you guys, for the first time ever, every single cover got a vote in fact multiple votes and there was a written um a written vote as well a couple of votes so and that one was for bitter root issue nine which i thought was kind of cool so however the book that wound up taking the win for the week guys wound up going to DC's Dead Planet, this was issue one, this was that Batman Who Laughs variant where he's all disintegrating and he's like a zombie and everything else. You guys like that cover. Remember, every vote matters, guys. So let's kick it off with this week's top 10 comic book covers. Starting with number 10. And I got a great list, I think, for you guys here. A little bit of everything. All right, so number 10 is Transformers. This is issue, this is called Transformers 84, Secret and Lies, issue one. This is cover B. Now, the reason why I picked this cover, Webheads, is because of the nostalgia feel of Transformers for me. I love Transformers. And I love this cover because it plays back to pretty much what the cartoon had to offer, right? I mean, it looks just like the cartoon. Like, look at Skyfire. Look at Shockwave. Look at Rat Bat. Like, it's awesome, right? And Shockwave's got his hands clinched and he's ready for whatever it is that he's going to do. But nostalgia feel, if this one is your favorite, guys, make sure you vote. Have your votes in by next week, Monday at 8 a.m. And... If you like someone else's vote, you can't just give it a thumbs up. You have to put it in the comment section below for it to count. All right. Coming in at number nine, another nostalgia property. This one goes to Snake Eyes, Dead Game, Issue 1. This is the Greg Horn Variant B. Um, I like this one because it's got the Baroness on there. The Baroness is a great character, and it's just uh, like a cover you would see on a thumbnail video, right? You just get to see the Baroness. She's outlined, and she's holding the world in her hands, and she's got the, the she represents Cobra, so she's got a Cobra snake around her, uh, her wrist or whatnot, and she's like pointing at you, and she's like, I want you to join Cobra, right? I mean, that's what she wants you to do. Uh, Really cool looking cover. Uh, Really awesome. So if this one is your favorite, guys, make sure you vote. All right. Next, coming in at number eight. This one goes to Year Zero. This is issue three of five. This is the Care Andrews uh, cover. This is the main cover of the title. There's no other variants. (laughs) And this cover is awesome, guys. Like you get to see the family having this picnic out on the out on the grass or the park or whatever it is, and everyone's got their like head turned this way, and the kids looking another way, and he sees someone lit on fire, like running off to the side, and the parents just don't notice yet. Yeah, there's something very wrong here. Uh, great looking cover, it tells a story, you know, and it makes you laugh. If this one is your favorite, go ahead and vote remember every vote matters guys only one vote per person no more than that 
All right, next, coming in at number seven, this one goes to the Amazing Spider-Man issue 44. This is the Philip Tan variant A. Um, this one is cool because it's a homage cover to Amazing Spider-Man issue 316. And Webheads, let me just tell you this. I found that I was looking through my collection and I don't have a copy of this book. I could have swore I had it. I, if I do, I don't know where it's at. So I'm like disappointed at that. Nevertheless, going back to the cover, Amazing Spider-Man um, issue 44, the Philip Tan variant. This one has Kindred on it as he's taking place of Venom here. And he's got his little centipedes all around him, wrapping around Spider-Man, taking control of him. And it says Kindred is back. How is Kindred back when we never even seen Kindred before or who he is or what he represents, right? Interesting kind of cover there. I like the way it looks. So if this one is your favorite, guys, make sure you vote. All right, next, coming in at number six. This one goes to Captain Marvel, issue 17. This is Pepe Larez. Uh, this cover is awesome. I love how Wolverine and Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, are together here. She's about to use her cosmic power, or maybe she just got done using her cosmic power, blowing through that wall, and you got Wolverine going, let's go, bub. And uh, they're about to battle what's coming through. I love the facial expression as well with Captain Marvel. I think she looks great there. And uh, Ray really nice looking covers in the background too as maybe that space i'm not sure but nevertheless nice looking cover if this one is fa is your favorite fans make sure you vote all right webheads moving on to number five and number five goes to always some really creative covers here this one goes to gideon falls this is issue 23 the covers are done by andrea sorrentino and this is awesome as this cover represents the priest and within his head is, I think, a modern day version of what Gideon Falls is now. Um, I've read the first trade of this series. I haven't read any more and I it was wonderful. I just have to get caught back up on it. But nevertheless, the cover on this is just mind blowing, right? No pun intended because it's it's like in his mind and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so if you like this one, yeah, guys, make sure you vote. All right, next. Coming in at number four, fans, this is Dark Knight's Death Metal Issue 2, the Conca variant, A. Eh? I don't know if I said that name at all the right way. And uh, there's two different versions of this one. You actually get one that has just plain old Wonder Woman, or you get the death metal version of Wonder Woman. And the reason why I chose this one was because it's death metal Wonder Woman, and it's death metal, so why not choose her, right? So really cool as you get to see her tiara on her head as it's expansive her cape is expansive as well and you just get to see her uh, hold the the lasso of truth around the the chainsaw which killed the the batman who laughs uh in the last issue and it's just great detail overall that goes into this cover i love the characters obviously you see them in the background as well great detail great cover if this one is your favorite fans make sure you vote all right next coming in at number three, this one goes to Spider-Woman issue two. This is the one in 50 uh, Jenny Frizen variant. This cover screams at you because of its color red, right? I mean, you have the background that's plain red. You get to see Jessica Drew on there. She's wearing that new costume, which is also red and black. And her font or her logo says Spider-Woman, which is in yellow. So it really pops there. I love the facial expression. She looks like she's really um, just standing there getting ready to do whatever it is that she's going to do. She's got that electricity or whatever she has that her power is. Awesome looking cover. Great, great deserves to be in that number three so if you guys like this one make sure you vote all right next coming in at number two and number two is a very cool magneto cover this one goes to giant size x-men magneto this is obviously a one shot but the cover of this is phenomenal as this one is done by lucio perello 
<laughs> I don't know if I said that right. But nevertheless, good-looking cover as you get to see Magneto on his throne. He's using his magnetism powers, and he's having everything shoot by him. Whatever it is that he's shooting at, he's just doing it with ease. He's just like, I'm chilling on my throne. Yep, that's what he's doing, and it looks badass, right? And uh, really cool looking cover. It's just classic looking Magneto. If this one is your favorite, fans, make sure you vote. All right, and last but not least, my number one favorite cover of the week, and this plays tribute to that Iron Man cover when he's putting on his armor and stuff like that, and I don't remember which issue this was, but this one goes to... The Venom issue 26, the Scan Sorwan variant. I am horrible at these names, totally butchering them, but I, I do want to give them credit because it's it's really cool. This one represents Virus. He's going to be prominent in this particular book, okay? And he looks like an Iron Man cover or an Iron Man character. And the cover has it just like Iron Man. And it's like virus. And he goes, you know, who or what is the newest villain of them all, you know? And uh, you get him seen armored up and whatnot. And it just, it looks cool, man. And uh, I was like, man, I can't wait to see who this who this virus character is and what he wants with Eddie Brock. And it just gets you excited to buy the book, right? So yeah, totally excited about this book over all great looking cover and if this one is your favorite fans you know what to do you have your you have to vote and don't forget if you don't like any of these covers you can put in your own comic book cover of the week as it can start to trend and overtake the other 10 covers so there you guys have it hopefully you enjoyed this list this week remember every vote matters and if you like this video i'm going to leave you other content right here and fans until next time this is mike spider slayer signing off thanks for watching and i'll see you guys real soon be safe take care bye